Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, uh, members in the gallery, uh, this hasn't happened in a couple years, and I wish I could say uh, that this was a, a good day for me personally, but I have a lot of mixed feelings about what I'm about to do. So I come to this well today very humbly. Uh, I will inform the speaker at the conclusion of this speech I will we'll be resigning effective immediately. Tomorrow morning, the Marlboro solicitor will be seeking an indictment against me for the personal and now public relationship between me and my ex-girlfriend, Candace Bessinger. I have to do the honorable thing for this institution, which I have served for almost a third of my life. This is my 10th year in the State House of Representatives. I've always stood for what I believe is right in government. I just don't talk the talk, I walk the walk. Limited government, lower taxes. Most of the time, the people in this room and the people in the audience know how I'm going to vote before I have the chance to. As a taxpayer and fiscal conservative, I find it shocking the amount of resources being spent on this politically motivated matter over a few love letters. Partially in a state with budget constraints such as South Carolina, where murderers, rapists, child molesters, and drug dealers roam free because we lack funding, the ability to prosecute, and because we fail to fund properly our court system at the most basic level. But at this time, I, I just want to say a thank you to a couple people. First, I, I want to thank the staff. Uh, Y'all are absolutely great, both in and out of the house. Um, you know, Y'all are hardworking, dedicated public employees. You're the example of what every public employee should strive to be. You spend oftentimes working late into the nights and sometimes on the weekends, and you can never be properly thanked for your service. So I want to thank you now. And I also want to th thank uh, some fellow members who I've enjoyed uh, getting to know over these past 10 years. Uh, my Horry County delegation, um, you know, Nelson Hardwick, uh, you know, the chairman of the Ag Committee. Uh, he came in two years after me, and he's a chairman of a standing committee. George Hearn, uh, the ultimate gentleman. Alan Clemens, my congressional rival, uh, <laughs> uh, but good friend. Uh, actually started with politics uh, with Alan, uh, working on his first Senate race. Liston Barfield, uh, just a good Christian godly man. Uh, my desk mate, uh, Tracy Edge, and Jackie Hayes. A lot of people don't know, but, but Jackie Hayes actually is a member of the Horry County delegation. He comes into where my farm is in Mount Olive uh, in northern Horry. Um, I also want to thank my uh, sweet mates. They've put up a lot with me over the years, uh, Florence County boys. Uh, Chris Crawford and, and Philip Lowe, uh, Mike Pitts, uh, my, uh, my friend uh, and freshman caucus member. There, there's so many other uh, people, uh, unlikely but steadfast friends, friends that you would not think we would be on, uh, friends because of our maybe political differences. You know, uh, uh, Todd Rutherford, Bakari Sellers. Uh, Harry Ott, uh, Gilda Cobb Hunter, who I've been lectured every day about for something. Um, James Smith, uh, uh, you know, good friend, great patriot. Um, and, and so many other friends in, in, this, in this body that I've grown to uh, love. Because you've been really a second family to me. Merle Smith, uh, one of my good friends. Um, constituents of, of Horry County, though, part uh, uh, it's been such an extra, extraordinary privilege uh, to serve them in advancing what they would have us to advance back home in Horry County here in Columbia. It's, a, it's a, an extreme privilege, um, and I want to thank them for their honor and, and trust, um, especially to, the, to my district, District 68, uh, which is Socasty, Forest Brook, Myrtle Trace, and Coastal Carolina. They're hardworking, conservative, God-fearing, independent, and, and patriotic, as all South Carolinians are. Um, 
But because of these, um, this political motivated situation I find myself in, I must now focus all of my efforts, and I believe, therefore, I will be unable to faithfully execute the duties of my office, and hereby today tender my resignation immediately from the South Carolina House of Representatives. I thank you all. It's been an absolute privilege, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.